Hello everybody and welcome to the Terrible Old Man. My name's Imaginer and today... Okay. Okay, now I can say my intro. Hello everyone, welcome to the Terrible Old Man. My name's Imaginer and today I'll be playing this game that's based off a HP Lovecraft story. So, you know, with Cthulhu and all the... <laughs> you know that. Also, um, I know I've been a little slow in getting videos up lately, um, I'm gonna try to fix that up, but in a few months from now, I'll be going on to college, so the videos will be much less frequent, but hopefully, they'll still be coming up on here, so I guess we should begin this journey. Also, this will be the first video that I make with a webcam that's a horror game. So, Angelo, what are, when are we going to blow this joint? I say we head out tomorrow. It's a few hours drive to Boston. How long we, how long we staying there for? Good or English, maybe? Oh, I say just tonight. We gotta keep moving. And then we head back to Arkham, Arkham Asylum. I'm so confused. That's right, I've been talking to a guy up there who might be able to get us some action, you know? Say, speaking of action, also if you guys didn't know this is a, uh, like a visual novel. Look at that dame over there. She's got something going on, doesn't she? Incredible. Zanuck? Zanuck? Why don't you get your pasty butt over there and give her your best line? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. And get us some beers while you're at it. I spelled you wrong. I have to criticize games when it comes to making ones that seem so good looking, but then they can screw up when it comes to the grammar. A few mistakes isn't bad, but I mean, come on. You still got some cash from the old bra the other night. Yeah, I got a few bucks left. I don't have a dime. Hell, that woman was so old she couldn't even get out of the house to spend her godforsaken dollars. But her old manual here spends it on hooch. Then let it sit there gathering dust for another two years before she bites it. Darn right. Well then, get us some beers, boy. Left click to interact, right click. Okay, so this is. Alright, for inventory, move cursor to the top of the screen. Okay, so I got a key and cash. Uh, so we got Silva, Ricky, and then there's a portrait behind. The picture has a caption. A local king sport fisherman. It's really good for what it is. Say there, miss. Can I have a word with you? Leave me alone, greaseball. Hey, hey, hey. No need for that kind of language, lady. I'm merely trying to conversate. Go conversate elsewhere. Maybe to your mother. Ha, ah, struck out again. Zanuck. Suit yourself. Alright, so. Guess we're gonna go. I don't want to endure small talk with the locals of this town. Well, why not? Or this port, I should say. Three beers over here. Where are you, where are you guys from? Boston? Innsmouth? None of your gosh darn business. Just give me some beers. Hey, this is my bar. Watch your manner, stranger. Folk are nice here in Kingsport. We look after each other. Three beers? Please? That'll be two dollars, my foreign friend. Ah. Two dollars right here. 
Three beers coming up. Gosh darn it. Well, at least this has some censorship here. Gosh darn it, the barrel is dry. I'm gonna have to roll up a new one. Sit tight. <sighs> well, it's not a bad word, so I guess not. Dicky eating his dinner yet? I swear, we saw a whole chocolate cake in front of his face, and in, he didn't so much as blink. The boy's been infected, or affected. You take him to Doc Reeves, he'll get to the bottom of it. Well, he's only been acting strange since his run and with that old fella the other night. I shouldn't let the boy out so late. What happened? You know that very old man, a former sea captain of some sort? You see him around town, pays for his groceries and golden doubloons. I've heard about him, yeah. Feeble and ancient. I heard he talks to bottles he has lined up on a table inside his house. Calls them names like Spanish Joe and Mate Ellis. Yeah, a most per peculiar chap. Best avoided, I think. No need to upset such folk. Something you need to teach Dicky? A bit of respect? So what happened when Dicky threw a stone at his mirror, you see? And the old man caught him in the act. Gave him a good talking to, I bet. Dicky won't talk about what exactly happened. Oh dear. He's a stupid boy. You go around throwing stones through old folks' windows, and well, they aren't going to be happy, no matter how feeble they are. I've told him he's not leaving the house for a month, apart from going to his lessons. He must be quite a scary sight for a young lad to face. Fancy that, using gold coins for currency. The man must be sitting on a fortune. Tell me about it. I heard he captained clipper ships in the east uncountable years back and bought back untold treasures. Shouldn't it be brought back? Not in case. Sorry about the wait. Here's your beers. Thanks. Boy, you're not going... You're not gonna... Believe it. You got a date with that broad? <laughs> he wishes. I think we got ourselves a job tonight. Well, spit it out then. I heard these... I'm sorry that my tongue is tied today. I heard those two chaps talking about a crazy old man who lives in town so rich he pays for things with gold doubloons. Heck. Gold doubloons? Yeah, he's got a room in his house where he stands there talking to bottles. A rich and senile old fart. Haha, <laughs> sounds like a cinch. Let's get in there tonight and see what he's got on offer. Oh boy, this should be fun. Where's the old man's house then? I don't know, they didn't say. Find out, Zanuck. Find out and we may find riches tonight. Say, fellas, what was that you guys were saying about an old man around these parts? What's it to you, stranger? Well, I just overheard your story. He sounds like a character. Indeed he is. Shuffles about with his cane, dropping gold all over the show. Oh, I get to choose. You said something about bottles. Uh, you said something about bottles. Sometimes people see him through his window with a lineup of curious bottles sitting on a sh shelf table. Yeah, sorry. Mm. Each bottle has some sort of object inside. Pendulum, some say, and he's been seen to chat to them, waving his arms about. I'm afraid the old chap has lost his mind. Too much time at sea. He was a sea captain? Yes. I thought that was established a while back. Yes, though back in the time nobody remembers, rumor has it he spent decades in the Far East. 
What else you what else do you know about him? You're asking a lot of questions, stranger. Yes, leave us be. You guys from Kingsport? Born and bred. Me too. Where are you from? Oh, a suburb of Boston. City boy, eh? A cosmopolitan type. Yeah, yeah, you could say that. Where does the old man live? His house is along the coast. A crumbling ancient pile it is too. One of the oldest houses in Kingsport, I venture. What's the address? Oh, you're thinking of visiting him, are you? Why on earth would you want to see him for? A treasure hunter, are you? Uh... No? Good, the last thing we need in this town is outsiders bringing their wayward criminal ways with them. So why w would you want to know his address? Why should we trust you outsiders? Oh dear. Uh, we are long lost relatives. <laughs> we interview him for a local paper. Traveling salesman. I believe interviewing for the local paper might be good. Oh, then what's the name of the local paper then? Kingsport Commune. The Times. The Telegraph. The Times. Wrong. You sir are a pathological liar. Uh, we are those long lost relatives. I expect he wants to believe that you're clearing that from Kingsport stock. Well, crap. We're from the tax department and he owes us money. Then surely you would have his address on file. Get lost. Well, then. Uh, we're traveling salesmen. Oh, yes, what are you selling? Shoes. What? Can I... We have a look at them? We need some new shoes. Sure thing, I'm wearing them right now. You're wearing your stock? What better way to advertise? I got boxes of them out in the car. Hey, those shoes look very worn. You're full of it, stranger. Lies, lies, lies. Ah. <sighs> Alright. We found something that belongs to him and we wish to return it. What's the item? An old ornament? Let's have a look at it then. Or is that my call? Bull dust. Get out. Uh, we have a tax department. Like, about the man's address. The telegraph. Wrong. You, sir, are a pathological liar. Whoa. What do you want me to do? Do you want me to go out to the car? Am I able to go out to the car? Bunch of dusty goons, curtains. I don't want to look outside. Do you know anything about a rich old man who lives in town? Oh, you're back again. Don Juan. Doesn't stop trying today, does he? I'm a very persistent man, ma'am. And I don't know the old man. You're lying. Everybody must know him. Leave me alone. Hey, sweetie, get lost. Well, maybe the bartender knows. Do you know about a rich old man that lives in town? Can't say I do. You must. I don't gossip about locals, sir. This is a respectable town. Huh. What can... What can you tell about... About... About about... Really? About those two guys at the bar. Hey, we're right here. Mind your own business, stranger. What do you say? What can you tell me about that broad over there? She's in here working all the time. Doesn't look she's up to much. What's her line of work? Why don't you ask her yourself? Later. Let me know when you want your drinks refilled. Got a job to do first. Oh, okay. I'd rather... Not you again. I'm busy. Yeah, what are you working on? Apart from looking pretty. Well, I might not look busy, but my job requires a lot of thinking. Yeah, what is your vocation? I'm a journalist. Wow, a big shot. Why am I talking to you? Say, you write for the paper? Yes, the Kingsford Daily Star. Interesting. Now get lost before I write an article about outsiders pestering local women in bars. Okay, okay. Put your knickers back on, lady. This 
might actually work. Hello, hello. We're going to interview him for a local paper. Kingsford Daily Star. Nonsense. It's the truth. We're journalists from Boston. We do freelance work. It sounds like the old man could give us a great story. Imagine the tales he must have. Tales of exploration, treasure, and chivalry. You know what? Go ahead. I don't really believe you, but this is getting annoying now. The old man lives up on Water Street. His property backs on to Ship Street near the shore. Thanks, I appreciate it. Gotta do a job first. Well, how do I... Guess I talked to the guys. Fellas, I got the address. Good job, zany boy. Where is it? Back entrance is on Ship Street by the harbor. Hey, we just... We passed that street on the way here. It's just a few blocks away. Zanuck, you take the car. Silva and I will go on foot and meet you at the place. It's better if we arrive separately. Nice plan. Let's go, boys. There's treasure to be had. Later that evening. All right. We're all here. What's the plan, boss? Silva, you and I will go in through this gate. Zanuck, you stay on watch. Okay. Before we do anything, though, looks like there is a light up there, Zanuck. Can you have a better look? We gotta make sure he ain't watching us. It's too far away. I ain't climbing up there. It's not time to go yet. Well, I could try climbing the post. The gate seems more like a convenient choice. What do you think of this place? Well, the house looks like it's been, it's seen better days. Yeah, let's gabbing. Get to work, Zanuck. What do you think those standing stones are from? Beats me, they give me the creeps. Later. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Can you get a closer look at the window? We need to double check what we're dealing with. The old man might have a shotgun fixed on us right now, for all we know. Well, how am I supposed to get- oh, wait. The stone's on the other side of the wall. I ain't going over there. Well, how in the heck am I supposed to get to this said location? Why can't I just... We don't have houses that... Like that, where I come from, that's for sure. It, it, I bet it smells in there. Must the old rotten socks or some sort. How do I get to go over here? Like, I got a spike. Can I get? I don't have anything but a key. The key is not gonna fit. Well, why do I have the key then? It ain't, it ain't time to leave. Well, I'm pretty sure it's better than what I'm trying to figure out here. All right, hang on guys. I'll try to figure it out and then I'll be right back. Oh, I clicked the, I was supposed to click the trunk. Well, it didn't look like there. Trunk is locked with a solitary pen. How about the car key? Doesn't fit. The car is just for ignition. Well, then, heck, where is it? It's locked. Just to talk to someone. Get the ding, dingus darn thing, so. Say, Richie. You don't have the key to the trunk, do you? No, I don't. Doesn't tell... Don't tell me you lost the... Gosh 
darn key, Zanuck. No, no. Do you have the key for the trunk? Oh, balls, I do. Here you go. Thanks. Okay. With that settled, then this should hopefully be easy. Hopefully. Okay. A good robber always comes prepared. We got a spry glass, a crowbar, and some mask. What the heck? It's too far away. Spy glass, perhaps? Okay. He's in there. The silly old fool looks like the easiest target we ever had. Go for Xanak. He really is talking to a bunch of old bottles. As long as we are quiet out here, he shouldn't notice us. He's engrossed by his queer little pursuits. Pathetic. You got our masks then? I cannot achieve anything with this. Let me put it back. There we go. Okay. Strange with the old man, but this is actually really well-made game besides the spelling errors. Here are the masks. Okay, get the gate open. Dang it! The old thing is locked tight. Last we got the crowbar! Ha! We're in. Good work, Xanak. Okay, so let's go in. How are we gonna play it, boss? The old sea dog might not be too loquacious concerning his treasures. We may need to make him talk. That's if the gold is even hidden. If he is as senile as we suspect, he may have stacks of it piled up all around. Don't go too hard on the old goat. We'll do what we need to. The screams of an old man may be easily muffled. Silva, you've hit the nail on the head. Xanak, wait for us in the car. We should be back in an hour at the most. Sounds like a plan, Richie. Or Ricky. Remember, be gentle. Whoa. Okay. Creepy old man. One hour later. What the hell is taking them so long? What happened? They better not have knocked the old fella off. I told them. I told them, I said, don't go too hard on the old goat. Ah, uh, here they come. Little things make considerable excitement in little towns, which is the reason that Kingsport people talked all that spring and summer about the three unidentifiable bodies, horribly slashed as with many cutlasses and horribly mangled as by the tread of many cruel boot heels, which the tide washed in. And some people even spoke of things as trivial as the deserted motor car found on Ship Street, or certain especially inhuman cries, probably of a stray animal or migratory bird, heard in the night by wakeful citizens. 
But in this idle village gossip, the terrible old man took no interest at all. He was by nature reserved, and when one is aged and feeble, one's reserve is doubly strong. Besides, so ancient a sea captain must have witnessed scores of things much more stirring in the far-off days of his unremembered youth. Okay, I guess that's the end. Holy crap. Uh, okay. That was great with the graphics and stuff, but dang, it was so short. Creepy. I'll admit that. It was made in 30 days, so I think that was amazing for them to do that. Well... Hi. Okay, Barracuda Egg. And, well, crap, the uh, game exited out. But, in any case, uh, really great game. Really liked it. Um, spot on with it being just 30 days to get this game made. I thought that was really good. So, in any case, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, leave a like and comment down below. Tell me what other games you want me to play. I've got a few in stock at the moment, but if you guys have any that you think I should play, let me know. So, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all next time. <laughs>